Evening all, welcome back to Starbound. So, right, you joined us, well, if you remember last time, what we were doing is we were actually digging down into the, the bowels of the earth. I wonder why they call it the bowels, it's just it's pretty gross, isn't it? Anyway, so what we're doing is we're on the hunt for resources, um, and the point really we're trying to do here was um, is really just show you certainly more of the game. Um, and I think, to be honest, it's funny because you could just play the whole game on the surface, well, more or less, but you probably could and uh, you'd, you'd miss what the hell is going on underneath your feet because there is hidden complexes, it's all kind of procedurally generated so you never know entirely what you're going to find. So if you see on the bottom right of the screen there, there's something there. I'm curious, what is that? Ooh. And this is the kind of fun of the game because all of a sudden you do get into the whole Terraria piece which is, you know, what the hell was that that was moving around just then? And I think that's pretty cool. Um, probably one of the earlier barriers of the game is the fact that your early equipment is not very good. As you can see, this is taking me forever to mine through things, but you know, you, you upgrade it uh, gradually, and before you know it, you've got some pretty boss gear, and you're mining like a complete legend. Um, and that's not just mining, fighting the armor as well is very, very uh, important in this game, because you can be swatted and killed by pretty much everything. Um, without armor and I'm currently running with no armor so pretty much anything will, will wipe me out with wonderful glance at me um, but again the point is is that you do go through the game and level up and get more stuff and I think really that's the the kind of the beauty of the game to a degree um, it is a good game to play as a multiplayer as well I think um, you know if you can get a group of people to play with you then you'll have a lot of fun uh, particularly when you come to the boss battles, which we'll probably show you in the next one, because we're getting to that point where the only tech really, well, the only missions rather left to us is to get teched up and uh, proceed forward. Another issue you'll probably find is, it's, as you can see, you're probably saying to yourself, why is he digging into poison and drowning himself in poison? It's because I want to die. That's a big issue of the game that you have to kind of constantly, um, you know, get to get to the surface, you have to kill yourself to respawn on the surface. That's a bit of an annoyance. Um, it would be nice to have some form of module that would allow you to get back to uh, the base. Anyway, so let's go do some crafting now. Um, what we're going to build is a stone furnace. So as you see there, that's the stone furnace. I'm just going to place that there. Now the inventory is a bit inelegant still, but it, you, know, you have to move your little eye screen around. There we go, there we go. It's just a little bit of moving. And then we now have a furnace. Now furnaces are very good. Now you can't cook meat in them. I'm pretty sure you used to be able to, but maybe they've changed that. I, I could be wrong. Post in the comments. Um, what you need is a campfire to do that. Now a lot of these things are quite good to have on you anyway, because on ice planets, if you haven't got the right protection, you can freeze to death. So having a, a campfire on um, on the ground warms you up. So that's nice, isn't it? So there's not just like, I mean, there's, there's lots of mechanics that are actually quite clever, like uh, airlessness is also a big issue as well. You find asteroid belts where there's no air. So you have to then find a way to, uh, to manage that. So spacesuits start to become more of a, a thing. Um, and there's many different things. So I think certainly uh, that's quite cool. Um, one of the things I would like to see is a difference of gravity. I think there is. I think that is in the game. Post in the comments. Um, I remember when I played uh, this game, maybe a couple of, maybe around Christmas, I think it was. Um, the the thing of gravity was not quite as as done as it was. Um, anyway, so there we go. So our missions are now complete, and we've now got the distress beacon as our next mission objective. And that, the way that the boss battles work in this is again very like Terraria. You craft an item that, when you then activate, summons a boss, and that's pretty much how it works. And with this particular one, the distress beacon would produce a boss. So we won't do that just yet. We need to level up. We need to get, you know, in essence, we need to get better gear. We need to get um, better weapons, etc. Now the way you get better weapons is by, um, well we'll show you actually because this is about to happen in the game. Um, you sometimes have to take on legendary creatures, these are the creatures in the game that spawn quite rarely and they've got a little kind of red glow around them. Um, they can often drop really good um, uh, weapons and I know this because it's about to happen. <laughs> and I'm sorry to sorry to break the uh, the illusion there for you but <laughs> we're about to encounter one and we're about to literally put arrows in his face. Um, and but also you can find them in chests, literally deep in the bowels of the earth. Uh, I've said it again, bowels, 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 bowels. Horrible word, isn't it? Uh, but deep in the in the depths of a planet, um, research facilities, even things like the villages, the castles, and so on. They all have these things um, available to you. So you know, finding weaponry is not that hard. 
Um, and within probably you know an hour or two of playing, you will have, have got a good sword armor and stuff like that. You will have leveled up in some way or another just through exploration. So you know, yeah, while it's worth your while digging into the planet and getting resources, do not underestimate the potential of just scanning and searching around. Run across the whole length of the planet. It takes you a while, but it's worth doing because you never know what you'll find. Go and have a look maybe at what um, you know, other that the moons have, because moons can be quite hostile in terms of their environment. But they also have things, I mean, generally I've found pirate ships on moons, and we'll show that. Um, because the pirate ships can sell you guns. Not very good ones, but guns nonetheless. So, you know, it's always worth having a really good look uh, around, because you'll be surprised, I think, what, um, certainly what you can find. Um, so there we go, that's our legendary creature to the right there. So he's kind of permeating you. He must smell, maybe that's what it is. But um, that's apparently, quote, a badass. So <laughs> we're going to have to uh, take him on. But the thing with the bow and arrow is it's, it's a very nice um, mix. So I've got a melee weapon and I've also got this bow and arrow. So I'm just going to basically shoot the hell out of everything I see. I'm a terrible shot, yes, I know. As you, right, I don't know if you see that. You also get the ability to do the perfect shot as well. So by by pulling back at the right moment and releasing, or rather pulling back, releasing at the right moment, I should say, um, you get the perfect shot. We'll show you that here. So now for some reason, this thing doesn't really want to come at me. This is probably a bug. <clears throat> so he's just gonna sit there <clears throat> and be a pin cushion for us, which is really nice. <laughs> um, but as you can see, just literally, um, there we go, that was a perfect shot right there. So it does more damage and it seems to be, I guess, faster. And I think the bow and arrow is a very underestimated weapon. You use it mainly for hunting, um, but it isn't actually that bad. So I think, uh, there we go. Now he's dropped something, so let's go and have a look at this. This is, uh, in essence, quite a good find. So the fact that it's got the little purple thing around it means that it's an incredibly rare weapon. It's a legendary weapon. Um, and as you can see, look at that. It's a kind of saber gas firing thing. Um, but it does quite a bit of damage and yes, it's only a level one or whatever it is It's only a basic level, but for, you know, for me, I am a boss now literally I am a boss and I'm I love the fact that you go from nothing to something very quickly in this game And it's it's, it's really refreshing So we've been back up and you're just gonna have a look at some of this mining stuff now The first thing you probably want to do is get your mining gear better than it is so there you go I've got eight copper bars and I can now make a copper pickaxe so that's cool now again the way it works is um, is it actually will replace the item that you uh, used as well so it's taken my stone pickaxe and it's turned it into um, a copper one so a copper one's just that bit better and look at that I've got my energy dash that's working now as well so you know literally in the space of like 20 minutes of playing less 10 probably um, I've gone from pretty much nothing to a, bri a brilliant sword in fact that's a really good find um, a really good uh, technology item that I can use to kind of make my life easier and already in the in my brain neurons are firing that are giving me pleasure for the upgrade that I've received because that's how it works <laughs> it's pretty cool isn't it and I think Starbound it's surprising how many you have it does look a bit crap but the amount of pleasure you'll get from it because every, almost every five minutes you're getting that feeling of achievement and progression and that is in essence what you get from all games that's what the pleasure part of most games if not all gives you so um so i i guess i'm saying if you play this game your brain will be filled with pleasure there you go <laughs> scientifically it's kind of true um and I think, to be honest, you probably wouldn't be too disappointed. Um, it is still in development. I know I keep saying that. And from what I can tell, there's going to be character wipes as well. So I think, you know, don't get too attached to your characters if you do come and play it. Plus, the game's filled with stuff like that, real thick moves like that, where that was supposedly, quote, an upgrade station. Um, and it, it was just poison. And it killed me. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Um, but again, you know, there's no real penalty for dying other than pixels. So it's not the end of the world if... Um, you lose stuff anyway so i think in general it, it's a great game it's coming together really nicely and i think um it just again every time i play it it baffles me how much time it takes from me and yet i love every minute of it it's not like a chore or a grind i don't i've never felt i've grinded in this game whereas i'd say most of the games i feel i have because i don't know maybe it's just not as not as easy to do the um I guess the progression is it is in this. It is very inferred in this. It's very part and central of the game, um, and it, it goes from all things because you know here we're beautifying and building up our, our mothership, our, our ship, and you find yourself really much getting into that as well, which is really awesome. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time. <laughs>